Hello everyone, welcome back to Technovo.com. My name's Steph and today we're taking a look at the Alcatel 3C. Now there's no surprise that the 18x9 aspect ratio has really trickled down into budget handsets and you can see that here with the 18x9 offering on the Alcatel 3C. Now it's by no means Alcatel's biggest offering, they do have things like the 5 on the market but this does sit comfortably between their cheapest and most expensive handsets. Now you can find the 3C on the market for around £130 retail and for a phone with an 18x9 aspect ratio I do think that's actually pretty good. Now the phone itself really is no bigger than the other modern Alcatel handsets that they're offering at the moment, especially the ones that were released or announced at Mo uh, Mobile World Conference this year. But because it has got the bigger screen on there, it does feel slightly bigger in the hand to hold. Now the screen comes in at around 6 inches measured from corner to corner and it has a resolution of 1440 by 720 which is severely reduced compared to kind of the flagship handsets on the market that are now displaying 4K or Ultra, Ultra HD and unfortunately that is where Alcatel do fall down as well. The actual quality of this screen is very very subpar with the brightness and contrast suffering which unfortunately does make media consumption through this handset somewhat off-putting. It somewhat mutes the colors uh, and the screen's just not as bright as some other handsets. So the actual design of this phone I think does look pretty good. On the left and right hand side you've got slim bezels that really can compete with more flagship style design but it does get let down by the size of the forehead and the chin bezels at the bottom. Now there are no physical buttons on the bottom, it is all touch sensitive controls but on the top you have got a speaker and you have got the selfie camera as well. There is a headphone port on the top which the bezel might be hiding some technology behind it for that headphone port um, so that might be why that bezel is, is a little bit thicker than the other two. On the right hand side you have got your standard power and volume rockers. On the left hand side you've got a dual SIM card slot so you can put two different SIM cards in there from two different carriers. So if you're going on holiday for example you can have your UK and a local SIM in there. Um, and on the back as well you've got your camera and your fingerprint sensor as well. On the bottom you have got a micro USB port so no USB type C which is a little bit of a shame I thought being a modern phone they would have used more modern technology because USB type C is coming becoming more prevalent in the home now so it would have been nice to see that on here. Now the actual back of the phone has this kind of burst like radial pattern around the fingerprint sensor which when you catch the light on it reflects this kind of burst pattern across the back. Now the actual phone back itself is covered in this very odd material which I, I thought reminded me of kind of old laptop screens or old monitors but have a listen. I'm not sure what that material is but it sounds very very familiar but that's what this phone is covered in. I'm not sure what it's called but it does have a plastic back. The actual phone itself is sealed. I couldn't find any way of opening up the back to reveal the battery. Um, so it is a sealed device, which is very strange for a budget handset. They usually have open back designs on their phones so you can swap out batteries, but not here. Inside this device you can find a MediaTek MT8321 processor clocked at 1.3 GHz. It's a quad-core processor and it also has 2GB of RAM inside as well. Now the phone is not fast at all. Yes, it can handle your social media apps like Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and YouTube if you want to watch videos on the phone but when it comes to graphically challenging games and graphically demanding games it's not going to be able to handle those very well. The fingerprint sensor even takes around a second and a half to open from from lock and that is not acceptable at all with a handset. I must say that storage space on this mobile is less than ample as well. You only get 16 gigabytes storage of which 10 is usable because you've got to consider Android and all of Android's apps going on there so that uses I don't know, maybe six, seven gigs. So you get around 10 gig of actual usage time, which is very, very small compared to flagship handsets and even budget handsets now that are coming with 32 or 64 gig worth of storage. 16 gig is just not a lot at all. And that's especially if you're recording 1080p video or you're storing music on there, that space could run up very quickly. Now a silver lining to that is the phone is compatible with micro SD cards that run up to 128 gigabytes. So if you do find yourself losing space quickly, then you can just whip one of those cards in there and it will just open up the storage capacity. On the back of the phone, you will find an eight megapixel camera and on the front, you will find a five megapixel selfie camera. Now the biggest downfall here is there are no creative modes on here whatsoever. You've got a standard mode, which is basically automatic. You've also got 
a panorama mode, and you've got something called social mode as well, which basically crops the area of photo to a four by three aspect ratio for Instagram and Facebook users. Uh, and it also adds another four by three kind of at the bottom of a, of a preview. So you can always preview in large in real time what you're taking a picture of. Video quality on here is also 1080p at 30 frames per second, but it's not the best video either. It's very, very hazy. It's very muted colors. Um, and it looks kind of blurry if you haven't, if you've got like kind of a natural shape to your movements in your hands, it, it can produce very, very blurry video, which it just suffers when you come to, to play it back or if you're sharing it online. If there's one saving grace to this handset and it's this size of the battery, it's a 3000 milliamp battery. It could last you pretty much an entire day of sort of moderate use. I managed to pull an entire day out of this by using social media on sort of downtimes from work. Uh, and on my commutes to work as well and I found it lasting a day before I had to plug it in and charge. If you are a gamer that's going to suffer somewhat uh, especially on this device uh, having to work those components a lot a lot harder uh, than say on a flagship and if you're using the video or the camera then it could suffer somewhat as well but for moderate social media uses listening to music on your commute 3000 milliamp battery uh, is, is absolutely fine to last a day. The Alcatel 3C also comes with Android 7.0 Nugget. I did try to update it, but nothing happened. It, it said it was up to date. So whether when Oreo does launch for this phone, it might be able to be updated. I can't comment on that. Um, but you get Android 7 from the box. So in conclusion, the Alcatel 3C is very much a budget handset. There are really no bells and whistles here when it actually comes to performance. But when it comes to features as well, it does what it says on the box. It is purely really just a phone for some light social media uses i do like the dual sim card slot i do think that it's a budget handset it's good enough to take on a holiday if you're going for an extended tour around europe for example or asia take this with you because you can put a local sim card in there and you can still have your home sim card if you do pick up any calls or texts or anything that comes from data uh, from your home sim card you've got that to back up as well thanks for checking out our brief look at the alcatel 3c handset if you enjoyed this then click that like button please do subscribe to keep up with all of our latest tech and gaming videos and also let us know in the comments what you think about the alcatel 3c whether you could see yourself buying one of these or whether it would suit you if you're going traveling let us know in the comments thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video